Welcome in the next lecture in UIS Mapping for 3D Modeling course. Today we're going to learn how to go from raw images to 3D models. And the, the subject that will be covered is photogrammetry and structure from motion concepts. What are we going to learn today? First, we need to understand the role of remote sensing and photographic photogrammetry in geospatial data acquisition. We're going to talk more about aerial photography and uh, why is it challenging to use it for measurements. And this is going to be explained uh, in, when we answer the question why photogrammetry needs to be used uh, in order to make measurements uh, from aerial photographs. And lastly, we're going to skip into the uh, computer vision concepts and how the structure for motion uh, can be used, uh, can, can help us transform 2D images into 3D models. Let's start from the very beginning. Remote sensing is a really broad discipline that includes everything uh, associated with sensing without contact. So all the data that are acquired from the distance. It can be a visual data, it can be a sound, and the sensor uh, can be a passive, so the one that just observes, that not, does not send any signals into the ground. We can have also active sensors. Also, those are those who are first sending some information to the ground and receiving the feedback, receiving the information back, the return signal. And those are like LIDAR, uh, radar, and sonar. Here you have a short video where the remote sensing is explained for mapping applications. We're not going to play this during this recording, but below you have the link to the associated YouTube video. Please now stop the lecture and uh, watch this short video that really well explains remote concepts of remote sensing for mapping. We are reusing uh, multiple terms for remote sensing, photogrammetry, and also GIS. It is important to understand the difference between this, uh, these terms. Remote sensing helps us to analyze and interpret images uh, for deriving information about the Earth's sur surface. And the application of photogrammy is to produce maps and precise 3D positions of points in order to make measurements. Remote sensing and photogrammetry are both used in geographical information science. Going in depth in the definition of photogrammetry. It is a three dimensional coordinate measuring technique that uses photographs as the fundamental medium for measurement. So in short terms, it's the science of taking precise measurements from photographs. It can be classified into two types, aerial, when it comes to aerial imagery, and terrestrial, that are taken from the ground. So it is also called close range, because the sensor is close to the object. The aerial photogrammetry was cru crucial development in map making. Before that, all the maps needed to make, be made uh, from terrestrial measurements. Dividing uh, aerial imagery and distinguishing from terrestrial, we can take the aerial imagery as vertical. So when you can imagine that the plane of the photo would be parallel to the ground, it's of course really hard to take it exactly at zero degrees, which would be called a true vert vertical photo. So usually 
we have tilted so just slightly couple degrees tilted from from the axis but we still see them as vertical you're going to see in a minute uh, pictures so and you want to clearly recognize which one is vertical which one is oblique with the UAS usually we have uh, photos that are oblique so the the sensor is tilted and the the photo you can see uh, that does not uh, even resemble closely uh, the mm, the map because we have so many distortions that are clearly visible of course, if the UAS keeps this position stable, it can happen that it, the, one of the photos or couple of the photos in the, uh, in the mapping uh, in the flight will be actually classified as vertical photos because they're nearly parallel. But generally, when we speak about the UAS imagery, we are talking about the oblique imagery. There are two kinds. One is low when the horizon is not visible, and one is high when the horizon is visible on the photo. Here I have an example from really, really old aerial imagery in Jockey's Ridge in North Carolina. As you can see here, this is the shore, and uh, everything here uh, looks first really old, and second, uh, you can see that it's taken from uh, above, not like not tilted or just slightly tilted that it's not recognizable but by our human eye without measurements this is totally different situation this is an oblique aerial photography when you can see how tilted is the camera related uh, uh, camera axis in relation to the ground and with the previous classification you can uh, recognize that this is the high oblique imagery because the hor horizon is visible on the photograph. This is also one of the first aerial imagery uh, from 1906 from San Francisco uh, earthquake. Note the high distortion, especially on the edges. Uh, the mm, mm, uh, the dogs here are supposed to be rectangle. They're this real shape. Here you can see how tilted everything uh, appears to be on the picture.